Savages, welcome back. Today we're going to do something we haven't done in a while. Let's play three scary games. The first one is the Earl Street Massacre. Let's get into it. Finally, can't believe I'm actually home. Those guys are the worst. Me. Every time I came home from work at the night shift. They dropped all that work on me out of nowhere. I really thought I'd have to stay overnight again. Whatever. I'm too tired. I guess I'll take a shower. Maybe I'll watch a movie after. Nah, if it were me, I'd get home, I'd eat, I'd shower, I'd go straight to bed. We're not even watching TV, dog. Let's take a look around. Oh, shit. Jesus. Why is it telling me how to quit the game? I don't think we were supposed to go outside. Wow, the noises are just loud as hell. I really like the graphics, though. You guys know I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the, the retro PSX graphics. Look at how good of an artist we are. Um, we've been working on our art since we were five, and you can see how far we've come. 914. What is, what, what is the deal with the ambience? This is how everything looks after I've been drinking and had some melatonin. All just fuzzy. Okay, can we sprint? We can not sprint. There's no crouch. Damn, this is a hella big laundry room. I'm not really sure what the, what the objective of this game is. I just know it's a short horror game. And it was rated pretty good. We have a downstairs. We'll check that out in a second. We'll finish this floor up. I... I don't like having this big ass just open window right here, man. Oh, and there. No, I would not feel comfortable or safe in a room like this. Where three of the walls are just windows and they're open at night. Alone. No. Ooh, flashlight. Can't grab it? What the hell else is in there? What do those look like? Tiny little ducks. Okay. I like that they made it to where you can interact and open everything. Or most everything. That, that's pretty good. Oh. Hey. Oh, we can't grab that? Oh. Okay, let's go downstairs. Let's take a look at our humble abode. See what... That, that little bit right there, that, that little bit of greenery, keeps getting me. There's no power down there. It's too dangerous to go down in the dark in our own home. We're gonna, we're gonna act like that's not a thing. We're, we're, just, gonna, we're just gonna ignore that. Um, Alright. Do we get everything? We've been in every room so far? Yeah. Okay, so... Are we supposed to take a shower and make some food? Is that the objective? So let's go to the shower, which I think is back here. I'm so tired. They really didn't let me take a break today. My clothes are a mess too. I should throw them in the washing machine first. I'd like to say... If I had, if my laundry room was right here, right outside of the bathroom, I would not put my clothes in my bedroom. They would just go right here because I mean, you go to, you go to, you go to the bathroom, you take your clothes off, throw them out, get out of the bathroom, get new clothes. Boom. You, you wouldn't need a dresser like in your bedroom. It's perfect. Actually, it's act. it's perfect. Why has no one ever done this? All right, let's do that. Ooh. Is that a tapping noise? Hmm. I wonder where Anna is. She's usually home by now. Maybe her bus is running late. I should try calling her. It's 9.14 at night, dude. I'm starting to get a bit hungry. Haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Should be some leftovers in the fridge I can eat. Can't wait to finally crash on the couch. We already know there's leftovers in the fridge. So let's go ahead and take care of that. 
Also, how do you not check on Anna, man? It's like so late right now. That'd be the first thing I'd do. I don't know if Anna's like his significant other or his child, but either way, it's so late. Let's not stand near the microwave because we don't want to get the radiation in our balls, right? We want to have kids someday. I can't open this. This either looks like a perfect place to hide. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks either like a perfect place to hide or like exactly where a killer would be. Was that light on earlier back there? We're we're gonna we're gonna chalk it up to nothing. Um, all right, can we cut the TV on or no no TV? We're just gonna sit here. Okay, that fair enough, man. Oh, this is my favorite show. Oh, my favorite show's on today. It's a shame Anna's not home yet. I love this show personally. If you've not seen this orange cat lick itself before, it's it's the best thing on TV. Hold E to eat. I feel like something's gonna happen. Eating. Is that a plant over there by that door? You guys see what I'm talking about? It hasn't moved, so. Really nervous. Someone's at the front door. I wonder who it is this late. Definitely not Anna. God, look at the pretty kitty, dude. I love him. Okay. Housekeeping? <gasps> oh, God, it shut itself on me. Damn, stupid kids ding-dong ditching at this hour. Can't believe I had to get up for this. Really hope I haven't missed anything. Uh, shut it. The door shut itself up. What the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Did the washing machine trip the breaker again? It's so dark. There should be a flashlight in the kitchen. I really hope the batteries are still good. Okay, well, we, we know where the flashlight is. Thankfully, we did some, um, tactical reconnaissance. That's what they call it. They don't call it snooping anymore. Some tactical recon. There you are. Let's see if you still work. Ugh. Hate going down to that stupid basement. I've always found it so creepy for some reason. Listen, man. If I had a basement that I found creepy, I'd light it up. I'd lock it down. I'm not okay with this. What the hell is that? She's gonna be dead down here, isn't she? Anna. Oh, dude. Why are there so many doors? Coffee mugs? I'm so nervous. Oh my god, Anna. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. She's dead. I have to get help now. The door shut. Why did the door shut on me? Why did the door shut? That door shut too. Okay, no one's at the top of the stairs. Do we leave? Do we run? Oh, fuck. What the? Damn it. What the hell was that? I, I can't stay here. I need to hide somewhere. It, fuck. Where am I supposed to even hide in here? In this thing, in this thing, in this thing, right? We can't. Okay, we get under here. I really thought the, the like, cupboard or whatever would be the place, but what do I know? It's so dark, dude. Like, genuinely just so dark. We can't even see footsteps or feet yet. They know we're here. Um. Um. Is this a Carson house situation? Oh. Where I'm supposed to, like, try and leave? Come on. 
What do you even do in this situation, man? I mean, I know what I would do. And it, in, it, it involves pew pew, but... Oh my god. Ooh, buddy. I think we're okay? The, now's my chance. I have to make a run for it. Fug. Did he go into the basement? Come on. All the doors are closed. All of them. Come on. Open. 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 It won't open. Shit. No, 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 no. Open already, damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? <laughs> Why, man? Why? The hell is that? What? What is it? What is that noise? Here he is. Here he is. God, you can barely. Wow. Wow. Thank you for playing. This is my first game I ever made, so it might be a bit janky. I hope you enjoyed playing it. Nevertheless, person you can return to the main menu. This was good. Your first game? Really? Listen, there's a lot of people out there making games. Same graphics, same engine, same everything, and it's not as good as this one was. This was nice. I really enjoyed the suspense. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was trying to get out at the end. It, it just took way too long. Maybe shorten it a little bit, make it to where we can hear the footsteps of him sneaking up behind us a little bit better. For, for this game being free, for being your first game, and for me encountering Z zero issues and it being easy to play beautiful and sounding great this is a 10 out of 10 i love this game thank you for this game let's go to the next one on to the next one there was a rescue expedition five people went missing in a local cave system they came back without anything something is off about all that bodies don't just vanish into thin air i'm going in this will be an incredible story for the news interesting sound effect okay well we have two difficulties here casual and madness we cannot select madness so filthy casual it is let's get into it this is crawl that is a nice sound effect i've never seen someone use the bulb break hold w to crawl you can only move forward okay this is immediately not great wait we can interact with stuff. Is that how that works? We have a map. Oh, this is cool. Oh, what is that? That's our camera, I'm assuming. What's this? Just our flashlight? Yeah, I don't think we cut our flashlight off. I wouldn't, anyways. God, I just, just saw... Oh, sometimes you'll need to move a little further to get out of tough areas. Got it. I just saw a reel on Instagram of someone spelunking, crawling through a cave like this, and the caption was something like, finding a spider's nest while caving. Turn around and click left mouse button in the map pocket. Yeah, yeah, we know how to use it. And it was just a person filming themselves getting absolutely covered, covered in, in hundreds of spiders. It was... It was fucking terrible. Also, hold right mouse button, press left mouse button to take a photo of this backpack. Okay. Now turn around and click on the camera several times to reload the cartridge and put it back. Okay. Okay. Four left. Okay, that's a simple system. 
That is a simple system I can get behind. Great, four photos left to take. Now explore further. I have a real fear, like a true, true to God fear of caving. I, the, the movie, The Descent ruined me as a child. I saw it way too young. Okay, it looks like we can just go anywhere to the next fork and on the next fork, I'm gonna take a right and stay right. Yeah, so when I was way too little, my parents let me watch The Descent, which is a movie where they're in a cave. You only do one photo per cartridge, so remember to reload it every time you take it. Good. Good mechanic. Good dev. Good mechanic. But yeah, anyways, that movie ruined the shit out of me. And this has been one of my major fears for my entire <laughs> my entire adult and teenage life. Hold shift to crawl faster at the cost of fatigue. Um, maybe in a second. We're, we're not going to get too fatigued yet. Movement is slightly wonky. But, oh, looks like your flashlight has died. Turn around and click on it repeatedly to crank it up. How do I turn around? It will not let me turn around. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize it was an actual crank camera. Or camera. I didn't realize it was an actual crank flashlight. Very cool. I also want one of those very badly, IRL. Let's see. See, I've been afraid of caves ever since I saw the Descent movie. And then since then, there's been there's been stories. There have been, I'm sure you've seen on YouTube about like the Nutty Putty cave incident. I think that's what it's called. Where the guy got stuck upside down. It's just, there's no reason. There's no reason. I, I would not do this. You can tell me there's a million dollars at the bottom of this cave and I would still not go. If something attacks you, flash it by... Flat, flash it by doing a photo. What? What would attack me? Yellow dots will only appear if you're close enough to the object, so check your map constantly. Good luck. I don't think we make it out of this cave. I'm just going to say that now. Oh my god. Already? And I thought other games had bad flashlights. Holy crap, dude. Okay. What was that? What the hell was that? What is this? Uh, I guess it's just a rock. Okay, let's... Let, let's fatigue a little bit. Okay. I have no idea where to go in here, obviously. It says I should check my map. So we're going to get a little bit around this bend right here. Okay. All right. We, we got an intersection here. All right. What do we got? What you got for me? Blue is where we found the first one. We're going to stay right, I think, because that whole cluster over there looks like a good way to go. Yeah, so we're just going to we're just going to stay right. Oh, okay. I think it, that if the graphics on this game were really good, it wouldn't be as terrifying because I'd be able to see what's going on. But with the way it looks, no, nah, dude, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not here for it. <laughs> oh my God. Is, is it like, is it just like a bunch of hands? Like, what is it? What's the deal? What is the deal, dude? Okay, okay. We're going to go a little bit further. Heartbeat. Okay. So this dude, out of the goodness, the kindness of his heart, decided that he was going to go in here to try to find the bodies of five people who went missing that the police couldn't find or the rescue services couldn't find. Unpaid? No. 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 Just, just no. 
Okay, let's check our map. Oh, we got one coming up. Hell yeah, okay. Can we, can we crank, like right now? We can't crank until it's already out. Damn it. It looks like it's to our left a little bit. Okay, I think we go this way and then to the left, and then we take another left, because it looks like we've kind of circled past it. I'm curious if this game is, um... Hey guys. Why is the ground over there rock? And why is this like an intestine? Why? Why have we found spaghetti? Why have we found spaghetti in this cave? Please just be mud. Okay, let's check the map really quickly. Yeah, okay, we're, we're right at it. Just like I thought. Take a left. The, the movement is not perfect, but I cannot complain, dude. So far, it plays really well. Is this... Three left. Now, out of curiosity, is that three left to find? Or is that three photos left? Please tell me we can take more than that. So we need to go, just continue the way we're going, and we'll stick right again. Which would be, oh, we can't, we can't turn around. That's right. Oh no. Okay, um. God. They really just, okay, we're gonna go right, and then right again. It's gonna be a giant loop. I, I kind of screwed us on this. It's gonna take a lot longer than it should. Can I even get past this body? I can. How much would it cost for you to do something like this? Because for me, I don't know if you could put a price on it, dude. I will say the map makes it look a lot larger than it is. Okay. Let's look around, dude. What the hell was that noise? What the hell was that noise? Check our map. Oh yeah, we went way kind of the wrong direction. <gasps> Shh! What the fuck was that? Oh my god, dude! Nope, 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 nope. Um, we go right. I think we're gonna go right. Not there. This way. I think. Okay. You gotta remember, you're reading the map, like, kind of backwards. Come on, 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 come on. Dude, this game is hectic as hell, I love it. Oh, water? Nice. I hear something. I heard, like, wind whispering or, or something. I don't know, but I didn't like it. I'm not okay. There's a really good story on the No Sleep podcast as well where there's someone crawling through a cave being like chased by an entity and it I think about it all the time. It is genuinely terrifying. I can't for the life of me remember what the name of the story is or even what season or anything it's on, but all I know is that it's voiced by my favorite guy, um Peter Lewis. Oh my god, he does... <laughs> he does such a good job. Okay, we're almost to one. Now I'm not gonna... <clears throat> you son of a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. That thing looks kinda goofy. But it is also supremely disgusting. It's like a skull with hands. Okay, this is number three, I believe. He, did he get his head crushed by a rock? Come on. These are the photos we're here for, dude? 
Guys, I'm telling you right now, if I crawl into a cave and you think that there's no chance, no possibility of my survival, do not send someone in after me. If I've been missing for more than like, what, we'll say 96 hours, right? That's four days. If I've been missing for four days or more, just write me off as a loss. Do not come in there. Do not let me make two statistics out of us. Like, you guys can write that down right now. Okay. Oh my god! Uh, it hurt me. It, it hurt me. Yeah, we took, we took damage. God. We took damage from that. Oh my god, dude. How do we heal? Can we heal? Are, are we able to get the fifth one? Do we have to get out afterwards? I kind of heard a noise and I was like, wait, is that a monster? And the next thing you knew, it was in my face with all of its unwashed fingies. I don't know where those fingies have been. Okay, we're about to check our map again before we go in circles. All right, let's check the map. We're going to go right and then left. So right here. Come on. We gotta go that way. I heard a noise. Bro, go this way. What, why can't we move? There we go. Oh my god. It made no noise. It made no noise. I'm just glad that we could do all those at once so we could multitask. Redoing the flashlight and the photos at the same time. What happens? How many times can we get hit? What happens when we die? Oh, what do we do here? Map? Damn, we can either go left or we can go right and then left. I don't know if we can go this way. I think we're too far. Yeah. All right, so we'll go through this and as soon as we get the opening, we'll go left again. Dude, he is like aggressive. He's aggressive. Why is there a harder mode for this game? Holy crap. Holy crap. Please let me go this way. Come on. Come on. You got it. Fog. Fog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go this way. Why aren't you going? We're kind of glitched. We're kind of glitched. Come on, you got it. I swear you got it, brother. Yeah, I think we're kind of glitched, guys. What? Not me. Never been glitched a day in my life. Oh my god. Okay, um, I actually can't move. There we go. There we go. I got like really stuck there for a second. All right, so now we can go left and we'll be back on our trail. Our trial, on our trail. Jesus. Come on, Rug. Just because you live in Appalachia doesn't mean you gotta act like it. Mountain Dew. All right. So this is the guy we photographed a while ago. We came in from that way, but we kind of screwed up, so let's just go left. I think we got hit again. I think that little finger monster fingered me. Okay. Um. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do. God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so we're going the right way. Oh gosh, itchy face, itchy nose. We got this. Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, we got it. <gasps> okay. Um. All right, we gotta redo the camera now. Come on. His little hands, little little dainty hands, dude. That was a good photo. Okay, we got this. Kinda. We kinda got this. This is like a pool of blood. 
the, the, it, it is no longer water. It is uh, cherry Kool-Aid. See, this is how you know you're on the right track, because it looks like one of the spelunkers, one of the cave divers, um, accidentally let their, their packet of, of cherry Kool-Aid like fall out of their rucksack and ended up in the waterways, right? So now we have a perfect trail. They're not to our right, so we're just going to keep going straight. There's the camera. I was or camera, the flashlight. I was about to call it. I was about to say it's going to run out soon. Oh, my mouse got stuck. Right, let's go straight. <laughs> I I can't pause the game. That scared the shit out of me. I was about to pause it. It sounded like a like a whispering wind. Oh my god. Oh my god. That ooh. This game is a masterpiece. What? Th this is awesome. This is resource management that makes sense. This is an enemy that is cool. All right. The mechanics are fun. I love this. All right, we're just going to keep going straight. It looks like there's no yellow dots. So let's just go straight. Oh my God, dude. How do we heal though? Can we not heal at all? Like, at all? That's fine, I guess. I'm just trying to learn the mechanics. It didn't say anything about healing, did it? What about these little, like... <laughs> Shit! Shit! Oh my god! Oh my... I gotta have Phoenix watch this. This is such great game design. Okay, let's let's check our map. God! Are there more than one? Uh, okay, straight ahead. This way, I think. Oh god, it's actually kind of hard. Be that way where it is. Oh no. Oh no. I can't. There we go. The movement's a little jank in some areas. But other than that, it's good. It's actually kind of cool because you got to kind of like wiggle your your camera to be able to get through. And I mean, if I were actually cave diving, it would not be straightforward. I know that because I've done it before. That's why this is a huge fear for me. What is this? Is that a skull? That's not what we needed. Damn. Okay. Um. Oh, I went the entirely wrong way, by the way. Like, entirely wrong way. Holy crap, dude. Did I, I just read the map backwards, I guess? God! Oh my god! This thing is after us, like, every chance it gets. Is that, is that the way I'm facing looking backwards or the way that I'm facing like my body? Oh God, I'm taking too long, dude. I'm taking too long. It's my own fault. We're going to go right and see what happens. Bug. Yeah, I went spelunking in a uh, less than legal area when I was younger and more dumb than I am now, believe it or not. And I remember like, <sighs> Ooh, I remember I was trying to like shimmy through this pass over some water, right? I was like trying to not get in the water. I was trying to stay on the little ledge that I was already on. 
There is some skulls. I was trying to stay on the ledge that I was already on. And, um... I didn't have much. We had some rope. Not a lot of it. I had a 12-inch Bowie knife that I took with me everywhere. Um, obviously, boots, pants, you know, the, the usual stuff. And then we all had headlamps that we bought for $5 at a Big Lots. So, you know, real... <laughs> Real top-notch stuff for amateur cave divers. And I'm like, the cave we're in is mostly like clay. And I'm like jamming my bowie knife into the wall and using it as like a handhold. And then I'm using my other hand to like grab any kind of rocks that I can to kind of like keep myself on this path and not slide down into the water. And I get yelled at by one of the older guys. I, I think I was 15, 16. They were like 17, 18. And I get yelled at and they're like, Rob, stop. And I'm like, what, why? And I turn my headlamp over and I look at what I'm about to grab that I thought was a rock. And it was a cluster of bats it's just sleeping, like attached to that wall. And I was so nervous after that. So nervous. Like, I, I was clo I was close enough. Ooh. I was close enough to the bats that they could feel me breathe on them, right? We're going to go... Mm. Yeah, let's go right, and then we'll go left. Yeah, I was close enough to those bats that, it, like, if I was to just blow air, it would tussle their fur. And that was such a terrifying experience not because bats are like inherently creepy or anything but like because I just clearly could not see what was going on and had I grabbed a bat who knows what happened I would have probably fallen you know I would have grabbed it it might have bit me it might have made a noise whatever though like it would have startled me and I would have probably fallen into that water and it, it wasn't too far of a fall right it wasn't too far of a fall so like it's not like the fall was going to kill me or anything but it was like low 40 degrees in that cave and who knows what was in the water. So it was an interesting experience. That was the, was that the first time or the second time I went? I can't really remember, but I do remember that experience vividly. And it is a reason why I'm probably never going to go, uh, never going to go spelunking again. I'll do like, Oh, Oh, nope. I would do like a professional tour through a cave that I don't have to like squeeze through, you know? But, um, never again am I going to go into a cave all amateur like that with like a bunch of other dudes who also have no idea what they're doing. Because we didn't know the way in, the way out. When I say we got in there, or we did that less than legally, I mean that, like, it had been sealed off with a huge, heavy metal grate, and we removed that grate to go down in it. And to make sure that no one knew that we were down in there, we put the metal grate back. Yeah, we did that. Which was, um, very dumb, looking back at it now. Because had, had we gotten lost in there, had we gotten stuck in there, the only way for someone to really know that we were down in there would have been to have seen that the, the metal grate was, was, was up, like it was disturbed, you know? And we made it look like nobody had disturbed it. How would anyone have found us, dude? We were down in there with our cell phones, like under the grate, like raising our cell phones out of the grate, trying to see if we could get cell service. Could not. Could not. Very just stupid. <laughs> Very stupid on our behalf. But, um, yeah, no, we, we got out. All's well that ends well. But, uh, would not recommend. Zero out of ten, don't do it. Okay. 
Where am I going from here? I think I go left. Yeah. So I stay this way. We're almost there. We're almost to the last one, boys. We're almost to the last one. Sorry for my, my rambling about my, my cave diving experience, but I'm trying to... Trying... To remain calm. Because this finger monster is... Testing my patience. Okay, cool. Okay, we gotta go left here. I'm 90% sure. And it'll be right around this bend. There it is, yeah. That's all five. That is all five. We become number six, don't we? That's how the game ends. No one ventured into this cave ever again. Sometime after lone journalists disappeared, cave was finally sealed by the same company who started it all. May he, missing people, and the horrors that lurk beneath rest unbothered forever. The end. Time 2731. Damn. This was a good ass game, dude. This was very, very well done. Wow, I'm, I'm picking some good ones today with no research. Just like these sound good and look good. Oh my God. This was Crawl, guys. Um, make sure you check it out and make sure you check out this developer if you liked it. On to the next one. All right, so far we're two for three. We've played two very good games. Let's see if we can hit a third. This is Night People. Let's get into it. A swindler got away with $25,000. The police pursued him, and to escape, he decided to hide in an abandoned building. Days later, the swindler body was found, but his head and the money were not. The protagonist of this game decides to visit the abandoned building and find the money. Find the money. Money, 0k out of 25k. Oh, this... This actually feels pretty nice. We have, it's too dark, we have no flashlight, we cannot sprint or crouch, okay. Dude. Visually? Is it a hallway? Visually? This is already off to a wonderful start. Attention. Information is requested on any member of the Bender family. They live in an abandoned they live in abandoned places and have only been seen at night. It is known that they have formed a cult called the Night People, where they practice cannibalism, witchcraft, and Satanism. Okay, I'd like to see the, the real photo before they X out the faces. But we have no flashlight. How in the hell? Oh, the light's on now. Was it always on? No matter. Let's just go ahead and go. So I'm assuming that that family inhabits the place in which we are now. Cannibalism, witchcraft, Satanism. I don't know what that was, but the the breathing? Did somebody jam a mannequin head onto a, a dead dog or a, a dog statue? What the hell is this? Kind of goofy, a little creepy. Flashlight, hell yeah. We can hear it breathing next to us now. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. This is... And it's gone. Of course. Of course it is. One of the worst flashlights I've ever seen. <laughs> what? What, um... What? 
What is happening? Why was there a, a dog? <clears throat> Why was there a dog with a person's head? Okay. Um. Dude, 10k like that? I'd do this for 10k. Holy shit. It took us, what, like four minutes? Why they, why they take his brain bowl? Why they take the top half of his brain bowl? The flashlight won't show me whatever in the hell that is. Okay, um, we're, we're just going to keep on trucking, guys. All right, um, we came from this way, I believe. The wolf ran this way. Oh, God, we're going to learn more story. <gasps> oh, it's the dog with the human head. A person associated with the Bender family has been arrested. It is believed he was a member of the Night People cult. During the interrogation, the individual mentioned a series of absurd events, such as having seen members of the Bender family transform into dogs. Jesus. Calm down, Fido. Okay. What do we got? Another 10k? Another 10k? Hell yeah. Dude, dogs bark at me all the time for free. You mean I could be charging for it? <laughs> okay. Gotta compose myself after that one, dude. Holy crap. Okay, we're missing 5k. We've seen two rooms which we cannot enter. This is some werewolf type stuff. The dog with the human head. Yeah, the dog with the human head kind of gave it away and I didn't even think about it. Is this a, like a way out? Is that why that's there? This took us to the entrance. Yeah, that takes us to the entrance. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, now let's go back. I kind of ran away from this area because I got scared. I'm assuming we got to find like a crowbar or an axe to get through that area. We have two areas with boards, right? So it stands to reason we need a tool to get through those areas. Okay, this is where we found the flashlight. Let's head back upstairs. There's not a whole lot going on, and it is pretty much just jump scares, but man. Good and creepy. Good and creepy. Okay, I'm not sure where to go here. To the right, we have the dog with the human head that was barking at us. And to the left, we have the darkness that we can't see. This game is so loud, dude. Okay, we cannot get in there. It looks like there's nothing in there for us. Let's go down to the monster in the black. As much as I don't want to. The flashlight's kind of crap, but I like the way it reveals as you walk forward. Very nice, very cinematic, 10 out of 10. Yeah, how in the hell do we get in here? That's probably our last little bit of money, isn't it? Shh. 
You guys got any tools I can use? You got any games on your phone? Nothing? The character models and the unsettling movement reminds me of an N4BA game, like Depart Prototype or From the Darkness. I really like it. This game's exquisite so far. Oh, here we go. First floor by the front door. I walked right past it. Leave the building. The key is in one of the apartments on the second floor. Come and get it. I'd rather not. I really don't want to. It's gonna be in the one with the fucking demon dog. It's gonna be to the left. Dog's pointing to the left. What was that? Yep. Of course it's this one. <laughs> oh god, no, please no, please don't. No! me on the ground and I couldn't see it okay the camera didn't point at the dog I see now Is a pack of dogs and the the door is not the okay I think I know where to get out Jesus dude come on come on come on come on come on come on all gas no brakes maybe we got this let's go come on 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 we got it we got this should be straight ahead. Straight ahead. Let's go. Oh my god. Don't turn around. We do not turn around. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Are we good? Okay. There's got to be a door straight ahead. And then we'll be good. The hell was that? Yeah, they're mad because they didn't get us. Get out of here, Fido. Go home with Lassie. Is that in front of me or behind me? I, I, I genuinely cannot tell. Come on, we're almost there. We gotta be almost there, dude. We have to be almost there. Dude, how long is this corridor? Like, what? What? Behind us is still clear. I still can't see anything in front of us either. <laughs> oh my god. Look at it. Looks like a. Oh, whatever. Are we good? We got out! Oh my god, we actually got out! I did not expect to be able to just get out like that. Ending was a little meh. I give the game a solid eight and a half. That, that was really good, dude. That was Steam Voy. Is that what that says at the bottom right? Steam Voy? Yeah, great job. I give it an eight and a half out of ten. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. I picked out three games today that had not been recommended to me yet, and I think I did a pretty damn good job with it. As always, if you made it this far, I love you the most. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching.